This young harbor seal was found weeks after her injury when she finally stranded near death. Uh, we suspected, unfortunately, a, a gunshot and, and radiographs uh, confirmed that right away. Dr. Martin Helena with the Vancouver Aquarium says the seal has a long road ahead for recovery and she's not alone. His team also worked on this seal shot by a fisherman during a salmon derby. She was recently released around the San Juan Islands, but without one of her eyes. This seal is also blind in one of her eyes and losing sight in the other. Bird shot will not kill a seal, but it will cause a lot of damage and a lot of suffering and that's, that's a real problem. That's a lot of birdshot pellet to be in your in your head, and the fact that she has survived to this point is incredible. Casey McLean heads SR3 and did many of the autopsies on sea lions shot last year. A dozen washed ashore in just a couple months. Every day it was a, a new animal almost, so yeah, that was extremely difficult um, and very disheartening to see so many at once. Seals and sea lions have become the target of debate over salmon recovery recently as they compete for food with the starving southern resident killer whales, but wildlife officials have testified that killing the marine mammals may do nothing at all to help salmon and could even have unintended impacts. So we've got an animal that is an important part of our ecology because um, it forages on a number of different fish, salmon included, but also fish like hake, which are predators on salmon. Um, and in, in turn, it, it itself is a prey item for things like transient killer whales. So these animals are important. Um, they're here and they should be here. In Seattle, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.